Okay, so many people asked me how to render an animation, not just a single image. All right, so it's a it's a pretty easy thing to do. Uh, so I have here a single animation, camera going around a ball, pretty crappy animation, by the way. So it goes from frame zero to one hundred. That's its range. Okay, so to render it not just the image but the animation press F10 key or go to rendering render and you're gonna have the render settings so here it's gonna be selected like this single every in TH frame so that means that it's gonna when you render it it's gonna render just a single image a single frame of your animation so if I put here in the middle of it in, of my animation render like and if I render it I'm gonna have that frame but just a single image okay I mean it's not that that I want I want to render all the 100 frames and make it a movie right so the thing that you need to do is instead of selecting single select active time segment all right so that means you're gonna render from frame 0 to 100 all right and not just the single one so set it to zero you have zero to one hundred okay that's it all right but to save it as a f uh, in an IVI or MOV I don't know any type of file movie file that you want you need to press on render output click on the box called files this this window will pop up asking the specifications for your video so you can say it called a um, name I'm gonna call ball and then you select the type of video you, the type of file that you want I selected AVI file click on save and don't forget to check this box save file you gotta be checking alright so once you click you click render it's gonna start running from frame 0 until 100 this usually takes a little bit of time especially when your animation have like five thousand thousand frames this will take a long time so click render yes and it will start rendering from frame zero so see once one ended the other one started and you just need to wait three over one hundred one time many five minutes and so I'm gonna stop the recording and we're gonna come back after it's done All right so once your rendering is done all the frames uh, you can close the window it doesn't matter and just go to the folder that you that you saved the file in this case this one you're gonna have the, the name of the file dot avi or mod or whatever you chose so double click it windows media player will pop up and your video will start playing and it, it's basically this so hope you guys like the tutorial hope I helped you guys so see you next time bye bye